today we talked about fractions. A fraction has a numerator, the number at the top, so that's my numerator, and then a denominator, that's the bottom. We also talked today that when the denominator goes up, increases its number. So if it goes from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, the pieces get smaller. So if I have one half, here's my whole, and then I split it into two halves, they're pretty big sizes. If I take the same shape and split it into fourths, the pieces are smaller. What about eighths? It gets even, the pieces are even smaller. So as the number goes up, the pieces get smaller because you're taking that whole and dividing it into more pieces. Model and solving fair share number stories. This is home link 3-1. Use a drawing to model each number story, then solve. The question says you are sharing two loaves of bread with five friends. You want each person to get a fair share. How much bread will each person get? Now, you could draw a loaf of bread, two of them, or... You can just draw a circle. Circles are sort of easier to draw. So, here's one loaf of bread, and here's two loaves of bread. Now, there are some important things we need to know. One being the two loaves of bread, and then it says five friends. But I'm not splitting these two loaves of bread into five parts. I need to do something. It says you. So if I have you, that's one person, plus your five friends, how many do I have? Six. So I need to split my, piece, my loaves of bread into six pieces. So thirds, and then sixths. Thirds, and then six. So if I take my pen and I'm going to label one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It says, how much bread will each person get? What is my total? There's six. So that is my denominator. And then how many pieces? Well, if I'm number one, I'm going to get one piece from that loaf and one piece from the other loaf. So I'm going to get two sixths, or if I look at it, I'm going to get one third. How did I get that? I'm going to draw down at the bottom. So when I started, I had a loaf, and I split it into thirds. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. If I take these two pieces, it'll be the same. If this was a perfect world, those two pieces would be the same as that other piece down there. So you get two-sixths or one-third loaf. Let's start, let's set up number two together. Betsy and three of her friends. So first things first, how many pe people? You have Betsy and then three friends. So Betsy, friend one, friend two, friend three. So that equals how many total? Four. So there are four friends. 
That is my denominator. It says there, there are six circular slices of watermelon. How many slices of watermelon will each person get? So I have to draw six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I split it into fourths because I was told there are four people total. So I split my whole into fourths. Four, 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 four. How many slices of watermelon will each person get? So Miss Tabor is going to take the blue and she's going to shade in the blue on each one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I'm one of Betsy's friends, I'm going to get six slices out of how many in one hole? There are four. So six fourths, that is my mixed fraction, or improper fraction, I'm sorry, improper fraction was when we have a numerator that's larger than the denominator. An improper fraction, I want to turn that into a mixed number. How many times does four go into six? One. Six minus four is two with four left over. I could also draw this picture. If I have a, a watermelon and another, I split it into fourths, I know that I'm going to eat six slices. One, two, three, four, five, six. One hole shaded with two out of four on the second one. So I have my improper fraction of six-fourths or my mixed number of one and two-fourths. And you can even reduce that two-fourths down to one, one and one-half. Because if I look at my one-half, Ms. Divorce changing her color to purple, here's a half. Are they the same value? Yes. So try three on your own. I went a little further than I said I would, but this one was a little tricky. So do three, do your practice problems, have a good night.